So, question number five. What do you like about the Idris Shah stories? Um, I'll, uh, I'll read what I wrote about this. Idris Shah stories are very creative and surprising. Unconventional, unexpected ending. I always enjoy reading it and and uh, looking forward to see what's gonna happen uh, towards the end of the story. And I always laugh. It's made me uh, really um, happy to work on uh, the stories. And I like it as well. It uh, reminds me of those old stories uh, from uh, folklore uh, culture. It's very, very cultural and uh, made me remember my childhood and how I like reading, reading those uh, Russian or uh, or Turkish stories. Also, Idris Shah stories um, remind me of my childhood. Uh, it's a uh, rich of um, cultural and folk um, fusion, and I really enjoy uh, reading it. it. Reminds me of old stories when I was uh, when I was a child. I'm very happy to be part of this project uh, done by Idris Shah Foundation, and uh, this there is a message in in uh, in this project is to give those books delivered by hand by a postman or uh, by a man uh, riding a bicycle and give it to the children in the street in unfortunate countries like um, I think Afghanistan and uh, and so I'm very very. Um, it's a privilege for me to be part of this project. It's very important for me to give stories uh, for free, uh, personally, uh, by person to and by hand to children, especially in the street and in, in unfortunate countries. And uh, the message behind this is deep. And children, because children have really raw me memories, and uh, every action or incident occurs in their life in that age, in this age. It will find a place in their in their uh, in their memory, of course, and uh, carved there forever. And every little action, their lives, it will help them to give them hope and uh, and change them. And um, this is also uh, I'm talking about about this because it's happened to me when I was. Uh, when I was a child, I grew up in a in a, in a country under war circumstances in Iraq. So um, we went through a period of time uh, under the embargo uh, circumstances. Uh, we were isolated, completely isolated from the rest of the world. And uh, there's no electricity, there's no TV. We don't know what's going on, and uh, uh, we always consume the the lo the products uh, locally were manufactured. So uh, a feeling uh, someone coming from outside, from abroad, a relative or a person or a friend uh, of my family, uh, we were so happy because they came and bring uh, bring some presents, uh, things are uh, internationally made, were internationally made, uh, like um, those things like chocolate bars, uh, American chocolate bars and a banana apple with the sticker on it so we didn't have this in iraq so this uh, when i when i had it that time it helped me so much and to be, became very happy so i uh, the feeling and i uh, i feel those children when someone handed them some story will will change them and uh, and uh, help them to become a better person so they will appreciate the appreciate this action beside enjoying high quality stories with creative unusual ideas so uh, um, giving them a story uh, with high quality like the Idris Shah Foundation it will uh, help it, it will uh, make them feel they are part of this world and they are not forgotten